this video, we'll discuss what it means to train an artificial neural network. In previous videos, we went over the basic architecture of a general artificial neural network, and now, after configuring the architecture of the model, the next step would be to train this network. So what does this mean? When you train a model, you're basically trying to solve an optimization problem. What you're trying to optimize are the weights within the model. Recall we touched on this idea in our video about layers. We talked about how each connection between neurons had an arbitrary weight assigned to it, and that during training, these weights would constantly be updating in attempts to reach their optimal values. In terms of how the weights are being optimized, that's going to depend on the optimization algorithm, or optimizer, that you choose to use for your model. The most widely known optimizer is called Stochastic Gradient Descent, or SGD. Now, when you have any optimization problem, you have to have an objective. So what is SGD's objective in attempting to set the model's weights? The objective is to minimize a given loss function. So SGD would be assigning the weights in such a way to make this loss function as close to zero as possible. The loss function could be something familiar like mean squared error, but there are several loss functions that you could use in its place. Okay, but what is the actual loss that we're talking about minimizing? Well, during training, we supply our model with data and labels to that data. For example, if we had a model that we wanted to train to classify whether images were images of cats or images of dogs, then we would be supplying our model with images of cats and dogs along with the labels for these images that state whether a given image is of a cat or of a dog. So say we give one image of a cat to our model. Once the image passes through the entire network, the model is going to spit out an output at the end. This will consist of what it thinks that the image is, either a cat or a dog. It will actually consist of probabilities for cat or dog. So it may assign a 75% probability to the image being a cat and a 25% probability to the image being a dog, meaning that the model assigns a higher likelihood to the image being a cat rather than a dog. In this case, the loss is going to be the error between what the network is predicting for the image versus what the true label of the image actually is. So it makes sense for SGD to try to minimize this error to make our model as accurate as possible in its predictions. So after passing in all of our data through our model, we're going to continue passing in the same data over and over again. Now during this state of repeatedly sending the same data into the model is when the model will actually learn. So through some process that's occurring with SGD repeatedly, the model will learn from that data and then update the weights of the model accordingly. So what does it actually mean for the model to learn? We're going to pick up with that topic in our next video. So we know now generally what's happening during one pass of the data through the model. In the next video, we'll see how the model learns through multiple passes of the data and what exactly SGD is doing to minimize the loss function. Also, before wrapping up, I did want to quickly point out that I just generally covered the optimizer, loss, and a couple of other topics in this video. We'll definitely be going into more detail about these topics in subsequent videos, but I just needed to give them a general introduction here so that we could understand the basics of training. So hopefully now you have a general understanding about what it means to train a model and how this training is implemented. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll learn what's happening behind the scenes of this training and how the model learns from this process. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like this video, subscribe, suggest, and comment. And thanks for watching.